Well, let's see if we can uh, start her up. <clears throat> You're now just watching this and you haven't seen the other three videos of the process to get to here. Go back and watch those, about 30 minutes each or so. So, model 99. Let's see if she's gonna run off of tank fuel. First, I'm gonna see if she runs off of prime down the carb and everything, and then we'll dump some fuel in it and see if it leaks everywhere. Even though I've replaced the gaskets, lined the tank, new fuel line, everything. Kind of comes down to internal on the carb and the on and off switch on that. So, without further ado, let's get started on that. First, the prime. That's how I ran her last time. that we've got that so go ahead smell that it smells wonderful let's go ahead and see if tank fuel will work for us splash of gas in the tank I'm not seeing any leaking the float bowl or the uh, sediment bowls full so I'll prime this one up among here I really don't want to push the primer button. I've not had good luck with these and primer buttons. So let's say we open her up one full turn. Let's see what we can do here. The screwdriver too for the item speed. turns we got here. We want to keep track of that. One, two. Itself. Common mistake, you guys got to remind me on the last video. Alright, throttle hooked up, a mistake, temporarily. One tiny, tiny leak, and that's around the float bowl seal, which I kind of expected it was going to do that, but. So, let's see what she's got here. Okay, so it's kind of acting like it's an ignition issue. It's hitting or missing, and then it picks up, and then it drops off. It is running off a of tank fuel. Let me try to show you. 
when it runs, it wants to run, but then it's hit, it's missing. It's wide open throttle. Sometimes it just picks right up and does great runs and then just uh, 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 again, so. Primer kind of works, but. what it's trying to do or not do everything so we might bypass the points for a moment to try and Nova chip it fuel leaks have pretty much stopped I tightened up a couple things of fuel ain't doing much and if I close it off all the way then it still kind of stutters I'm pointing towards ignition because closed throttle, wide open is not making a difference. And then you see how it picks right back up like something's trying to work right. So, being that's open point still, but it was stored indoors all night and it's dry. I'm thinking maybe that could be coil. But it does run off of tank fuel. I think like I say, you can see when it picks up and it really wants to run. And then it just falls back on its face. So... I'm going to do a little brainstorm on this. Hopefully, we'll be back with a good runner. All right, I have very crudely bypassed the, uh, the points and condenser. The on and off switch now works in reverse. Um, actually, did fire, and it fired over decently for a moment. So we're going to see what we can do here.
condenser, one or the other, is the problem. I actually kind of wanted to run backwards there for a little bit. sneezing at. I don't even think enough to really gather. This is why I carry a Nova chip on hand. I've got this set on positive ground. Another jug handle. Thank God for a giant big knot. We shall be back. All right. Well, I switched it to a negative ground from the positive. Instant fire up. Idle is really high. I never did set that. I left it from the way I got it. I can see that screw down there. It's turned out. So we'll turn the fuel back on here. See what she'll do. Maybe. Turn the on and off switch on. turn that idle down. I just want to thank you all for watching the uh, high idle thing I'm unsure of but I'm thinking that the butterfly blade is not allowed to close all the way because when I turn the idle down the uh, fuel off. it's not able and that's a nail but it's not stopping anything it's not able to go down as far as the screw here so I'll look further into that because adjusting the mixture there, it just slowly dies and fades off. So, all right, thanks for watching.